All right, there's a video for 2HT about exercise 31 from uh, chapter 6. It's about a uh, pictogram, which is this picture you can see behind here. You see a, a couple of uh, cars drawn in there. And here it says that every car means uh, 2,000 cars in reality. So, for example, if you take a look at the Ford Focus statistics here, you see three whole cars, which is uh, 6,000 cars then, and then we see this little bit. So we need to figure out how much is that. It's a bit hard to see, because I think uh, some people might think it's two-thirds, but I think it's three-fourth, because here we have half a car, and this is a bit more. So I think this is half a car, and this is three-fourth of a car. Then you can use that to um, say how many cars there are in total. But here it says, um, how many Fiat Punto cars were sold over this period, and how many Citroën DS3 cars were sold? Well, Fiat Punto is this one, so we see one, two, three, four, five symbols. Every symbol means 2,000 cars, so that means that for Fiat Punto we have 10,000 cars. And for the Citroën DS3 cars, we have only two symbols here. Now, every symbol means 2,000 cars. That means that 4,000 of those cars were sold. So in your answer book, you can write down here 10,000, and for this one, 4,000. Then we're going to go to question B. It says a total of more than 534,000 cars were sold in the first 11 months of 2011. What percentage of this was from the type Renault Clio? Well, you we have to take a look at Renault Clio over here. And I see three and a half symbols. So that means that if every symbol is uh, 2,000, then this will be 7,000 cars. So to calculate the percentage, we do the following thing. We do uh, 7,000 divided by the uh, total, which is uh, 534,000. And then if you do that times 100, then you know the actual percentage. Now, I do have a uh, calculator here. And if you want, you can erase these three zeros, and then you can erase these three zeros also, and then you get the same answer. But it saves you some time for uh, typing everything in. Let's see what uh, this will be. Here we get 1.3%. So that means that 1.3% of these cars sold were from the type Renault Clio. And then let's take a look at exercise C. It says represent this data in from the pict pictogram into a bar chart. Now a bar chart is a shape that looks like, it's a figure that looks like this. So you need to make something like that. Now I'm going to uh, make a sketch to show you what it will look like, but then you have to pro properly draw it. Okay, so we're going to turn this here into a um, bar chart. So what you need to do is, you have a vertical axis and a horizontal axis. And here you're going to write down all the car types. So for example, Fiat Punto. And here the next one, and here the next one. And in the vertical axis, the question says that you have to use 2,000 cars for one centimeter. That means that this is 2,000 here, and this is 4,000, and this is uh, 6,000, and this is 8,000. And then for Fiat Punto, there were uh, 10,000 cars, so you have to make a bar that reaches still 10,000. Now, when you draw this into your notebook, I would like you to uh, yeah, properly measure this, so like everything will be a centimeter, and then this will also be straight lines. And then you have a couple of bars, and then your uh, bar chart is finished. So hopefully uh, this video made uh, sense to you, and I'm going to make a video about another exercise also. Bye-bye.